Alright, next mission. Uh, let's take a look at the shop and upgrade Osiris. Okay, a whirlwind of blades. Cleaver. Got it. Cleaver. Yeah. The multi hit combo. Shredder. Shredder. Absolutely. Shredder level two. Now, level twos. Double up. Are oh, the, double up you need. I know. Level twos are the last thing I prefer. Alright, that's enough. Raise and then streak. Raise and then streak. Actually, let me see. Because I could use a stinger style move. Wait a second. No, look at look at them until completion. Actually, I don't need the shredder. The thing is, I'm, I've already looked at these moves in advance to know. But uh, yeah, I suppose I believe streak would be better because of its range. All right, that's enough of that. This game has skins and perks and leaderboards. I mean, skins and perks you have to wait to yeah, unlock, of course. Beat the game. My mother used to bring us here. Tell me everything. Some things have always been. There have always been angels. There have always been demons. And there have always been a war. Nine millennia ago, one demon rose through the ranks to take power over the dark hordes. The strongest, the cruelest. Mundus. But Mundus did not rise alone. At his right hand was his most trusted lieutenant, his blood brother. Sparta. So they're brothers in this but one. Sparta betrayed him. He fell in love with an angel, Eva. The secret union between angel and demon was inconceivable. But it happened. And with it came new life. Twin boys. You and I. A hybrid of the warring angel and demon races. When Mundus learned of Sparta's betrayal, his fury knew no limit. He hunted the lovers down. Evil was murdered by his own hand. And for Sparta, he demanded a more brutal fate. Endless punishment and pain. But even as evil was destroyed, and Sparta was imprisoned for eternity, each knew that the seed for their revenge had already been sown. Because according to legend, the only beings that can slay a demon king are Nephilim, a hybrid of angel and demon. Those hybrids now exist, you and I. Mundus believed that only one child was born, but there were two Nephilim, and each had been hidden well. Sparta armed his sons, the Rebellion for Dante, the Yamato, for Virgil. So, Mundus killed our mom and imprisoned our dad? Yes. And we're the offspring of angels and demons? Demon father, angel mother. We are Nephilim. The only ones that can slay the demon king. Good. How? Spotter. <laughs> Fucking demon collaborators. You're being dragged into limbo. I'll find Kat, she'll get you out. Stand firm! Dude, he's better. I oh, know, just working on something real quick. Alright, sorry, I wasn't paying attention there. I was actually uh, <laughs> uploading a video and retitling it. Style ranking system. Connection style bonuses. For st okay, earn bonuses for stylish feats such as killing an enemy without taking damage, pairing, long aerial combos, and more. Style rank. The style rank represents a multiplier that is applied against all your style scores and increases as you earn points and drops down if you won't take damage. Uh, if you take damage, I'm sorry. Yeah, it drops down like to a D after taking two hits. Alright, it's not about trying to regain or re earn that declining triple S. Which again, it diminishes the challenge in my opinion. Total style points. The total style points you've earned so far in each mission, the more style points you have, the higher your submission score will be. Yeah, didn't see that coming.
That's not the end. There's more waves coming. That is the Ravager. Yeah, dealing with him is not exactly an easy feat. If he if he, clouds him, if he gets himself into a gold aura, he can basically overpower me and not have any hits done. Yeah, that's what I mean. Triple S there for a moment. I'm gonna look around the environment though. Dante, the gateway's ready. Come on. Dante, over here. Let's take a look. That was a copper key or a silver key? Can't tell. A little hard to tell because of the coloring in the background. And because of the lighting. Like the fact that they're rendering the lights here in this setting. It's alright. I'm just gonna take a look back uh, to see if there's anything else here. Yeah, uh, there are green cocoons here, just like there are red. The green will, of course, give you a little bit of vitality. There is a lost soul up there, look, but I can't get to it. I think this, I think this area, oh, look, another, here it is, here's the door. I think I have to come back for this. It looks like there's an angelic jump up there. Actually, wait a minute, yeah, there was a set of stairs. All right, let's see what this will provide for me then. Can't get through that door. No exit. All right, we'll just move onwards. I'll have to find another way. Oh, like I said, I guess I spoke too soon, though. And one attack and you're already at A status. No, absolutely too easy. I feel like the animation during the death coil is doing all the work. Oh, I could have enemy stepped him and gone into that door. Oh, wow. Look, yeah, there is an angel wall here. Well... There's always next time, I suppose. Okay, now where do I go? Looks like there's an angel... Grapple. Grapple point. Deserved a little slow motion. Okay. We're right near where that angel door is, but I'd like to see if I can get to it. Ugh. I 
little unfortunate I can't turn. It's like, there's no steering. Yep, I have no say in here. Unless I could use my sword attacks to destroy them from afar. I mean, maybe? No. There's something obstructing my path there. For the overdrive. 